Chemicalization. Everything around us is made up of chemical components, atoms and molecules. Over the centuries, organisms have adapted to the chemicals surrounding them. However, during the past few decades, production of goods has caused the chemical environment to change at a rapid pace. This so-called chemicalization affects our whole ecosystem, affecting Olga, the organism, as well as the well-being of its whole community. When we talk about chemicals in everyday language, we typically refer to substances which have been named and which have been created through an industrial process. According to this definition, the markets contain over 100,000 chemicals and new chemicals are constantly being developed. These chemical products include medicines, paints and cosmetics, to name a few. Many of these chemicals increase our well-being and solve everyday challenges. However, they can also be harmful to our health and to the environment. A clear example of this is found in the use of the now banned pesticide DDT. A few decades ago, DDT has caused many health issues in animals. For instance, the shell of eagle's eggs were weakened, causing challenges in reproduction. A more recent example of chemicalization is the overuse of antibiotics, causing bacteria to become more resistant to them. One of the challenges of chemicalization is the chemicals are not stationary, but rather they move around our planet and become part of our food chain. This spreading of chemicals happens through 1. Point source inputs such as factories 2. Fallouts 3. Runoffs 4. Food and drink some chemicals are harmless to organisms. While some cause an immediate effect and others affect organisms over time, these harmful chemicals can cause hormone imbalance, changes in functionality of organisms, or even genetic changes seen in our offspring. As there are hundreds of thousands of chemicals, the exact effect of each chemical is not yet known. What makes research on the topic especially challenging is that chemicals can mix, forming chemical cocktails. These cocktails may function in different ways than individual chemicals. Researchers are constantly studying the effects of chemicals in chemical cocktails. Based on research findings, authorities make suggestions on the use of different chemicals. However, in the end, it's the politicians who either accept or reject these propositions. For this reason, companies selling these chemicals do a lot of lobbying, trying to influence the decisions of the politicians. This also means that different parts of the world have very different restrictions on the use of certain chemicals. For instance, in the EU, legislation on chemicals is much more strict than in many developing countries. Strict restrictions helps prevent the use of certain harmful chemicals in the EU. Nonetheless, even in the EU, People still buy unnecessary products that contain harmful chemicals, such as perfumes. So let's review. We are surrounded by chemicals, some of which we need and some of which we don't. Most of these chemicals are harmless to our ecosystem, while others are harmful. However, we often don't know how extensively chemicalization affects us, as chemicals can form cocktails that have not yet been studied. However, experts believe that our chemicalization is affecting our environment as dramatically as climate change. So what can you do to learn more? Start by examining how the following ways can be used to reduce chemicalization. Reducing the use of non-essential chemicals at home, school and work. Conducting life cycle analysis of chemicals. Tightening regulations, laws, agreements, sanctions, etc. Increasing knowledge of the public through product labeling, using the precautionary principle in the industry, using microbes to reduce water pollution,